brought here to Speed Sports uh, Raceway in Houston. the dirt.
here with Max. We're gonna check out his 350Z, which is right here. This is it. Yeah, pretty uh, standard Z setup. It's an 08 HR. I picked it up for uh, $2,600. $2,600? Yeah, it was, it was kind of a mess though. Um, different colors, like no suspension or anything on it. So we did BC's, ISR arms to kind of get everything dialed in. The BCDS coilovers are amazing. Some wheels, some accelerator tires, and uh, KBD body kit, some paint, and here we are. So like, how much did that run you? I'm like 55 or 5600 into the car, which is cheap. That's like really true. cheap. Yeah. So uh, with some help through partnerships, obviously. But yeah, we got the kit, painted it. GK Tech angle too, that's important, right? Have an angle in the car. But it's pretty basic, like, I'm a filmer like you, I'm not a mechanic, so like I've spent years filming Formula Drift and, and being around all these big race cars and stuff, and I wanted to get back into drifting, so I bought an E36 last year, kind of same concept, right? Coilovers, angle, seat, belts, go. And uh, I drove that for a year. The car was super fun, but it was lacking in the power department. So it was either like turbo it and make it unreliable, which I'm not a mechanic, so I wouldn't have driven ever, or get a 350Z. 350Z. is a 350Z. Best choice you could have. And this thing, it's like, I bring it home after driving all weekend, turn it off, park it in the trailer, wait a month, turn it on, load it in the trailer, and then come back out. It just works. It's amazing. Yeah, I got a deal. So I was on a plane to Florida for a film job and somebody tagged me on Facebook. Yeah. And uh, the car was listed for three, but I got it for 2,600. I, I, I texted a buddy through the airplane Wi-Fi. I was like, go get this car, I'll pay you. <laughs> so this was a really, really good deal. A general HR car, you're gonna look at like five grand for something good and nice, probably a lot nicer than my car. It's like, I don't have interior or anything, but it gets the job done. But you can find a D like Fieldings for like 25, 2600 bucks. So there, there's variants there. It's just what, what engine you want and how much can you afford to get. You want to rip? So yeah, you're gonna have to repair it. you right now. Huh? All right. Well, I'm probably gonna spit out. So just.
You like the Z? You. Huh? You like the Z? Dude, that was fucking amazing. Resonated test pipes from them, and then their full exhaust kit. Okay. She was fucking fun. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Glad you liked it. Oh, no, thank you. So we're in Josh's. What is this? The. Corvette. What the Corvette is this? Uh, C6 Corvette 2005. C6 Corvette 2005. We're about to take it for a spin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And they get hot after a couple laps. Yeah. I'll do one more hot lap. Of gas to make it angle more yeah. and then break to kind of dive the nose in a little bit yeah yeah, yeah. Um, to make sure that it uh, it basically bites the front where I want it to go uh -huh. so I just break it in the middle of my transition I need to go break and then gas it's a 2005 uh, Corvette base it's got the stock LS2 motor. It's like 400 wheel horsepower, 400 torque. Um, the only thing that's done to it so far is a muffler delete and then uh, PBM knuckles, which give it the angle that I need. And then I just put in the seat because the stock seats really sway you. So one of the best mods to do is to get a bucket seat, a fixed back. That way you're not moving around. Um, only thing I've done so far is just get tires. I recommend a good pair of tires. Um, that'll have grip in the front and then last long in the back. Um, this is basically a Cheater 350Z because it's a 350Z with more horsepower. The, the chassis is really well done for stock. They don't have to do anything except just slide it. So, it's pretty good. Tell us, how long have you been drifting for? Uh, one year. One year? <laughs> can, you, can you talk and drift? Yeah. Alright. So Josh has been drifting for one year. <laughs> Somebody's bumper just blew up right now. Yep. And um, There it is. <laughs> so, and what got you into drifting, Josh? Uh just videos, watching videos online, seeing yeah. how fun it was, seeing how affordable the cars are becoming now. Yeah. It doesn't take too much money to get a good drift car. Just make sure you get a good one that doesn't need too much work like this. All I did was just PBM knuckles and a bucket seat and that's it. So seat time is key. Whatever gets you on the track. Yeah. My first time I was drifting, I was sucking so bad because I didn't really know the technique. Uh -huh. It just takes time. You're not going to get the hang of it like that, but seat time, you'll get it. These guys have been doing it for a long time, man. And I've never done it. <laughs> uh, yeah, learn how to drive standard first. Yeah. Learn how to clutch kick a little bit. Honestly, I'm just in second gear the whole time. The only time I upshift is to cool down the engine. Yeah. But otherwise, if I'm going like full attack mode, it's just second gear the whole track. Another good thing in Texas is to have a car with good AC. <laughs> good AC, yeah. So that way when you're stuck in the in this line, at least you're not overheating. And usually you kind of leave them some space because yeah. they don't like it when you tandem with them if they don't know you. Yeah. So that's why I'm just giving them a little bit of space. Here we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, I need to practice that that section where I, I flick it and then I brake hard so that way the front will bite into the corner. Because uh -huh. as you saw, I kind of did too fast to where I went into the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Into the apex too much. So you just got to trust your car. You just got to feel it. Yeah. So in slow motion, I'm in third gear. And then I would flick in the second and kind of clutch kick, so that way I'm kind of sliding in here. Uh -huh. And then I would turn and brake really hard, that way I'm sideways through uh -huh. this corner. Or you're gonna hit the gas. Yep. So just basically brake to where you're, you want the angle that you want, uh -huh. and then once you got that angle, then gas it, gas it, gas it. And just modulate the throttle. So with this car, since it has so much power, you can actually control the angle with the gas. The more gas you give, the more angle you get. Yeah. Um, it's just a, it's just a balance. It's a weird balance. Yeah. Mm -hmm.